Hi, fellow traders. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. I know for some of us, it's an extended weekend. For some of us, it's not. But I hope you're enjoying your weekend anyway. Uh, looking forward to having this extra day of rest tomorrow. You know, I'll still do some, some work, still do some studying, but, and, you know, looking, looking over some trades, trying to get my strategy set for this coming week, you know, but always can use an extra day to, to sit back and relax and then enjoy some of the fruits of our labor. Uh, but before we get into my recap, I want to remind you that we do have another day trading class starting. This is the third time that we're starting over. Um, and every time it's a little bit different. You know, the market changes. I see different things. And so the classes are a little different. They're live classes. I'm teaching the same core stuff. But the presentations are different. So by get, getting a class, you get to come in every time I start. You have lifetime access to the classes, and which is cool because, you know, anytime something gets changed or I update something with my trading, I, I talk about it in the next class. Um, the other good thing is you guys have access to me. And, and I'm talking to you guys that are already in the class and that have taken the classes. You know, I'm your resource. If you get stuck, if you're confused and you just can't seem to get out your own way, I'm a Skype call away. You know, that's what teachers do. I'm a teacher at heart. That's where I came from. That's not going to leave me. You know, and I, I teach because I love doing it. And I, I missed it, honestly. When I, when I left teaching, I actually missed it. Um, so I, I wouldn't leave my students hanging in my classes. I'm not going to leave you hanging. So take advantage of it. You do have that resource. You know, anytime you need something, you need me to look over your um, trades, your whatever. That's what you invest in. When you invested in this class, you invested in your education, you invested in yourself, and you invested in me, and I in turn invest in you. So take advantage of that. Um, another good thing is we, we do have the day trading psychology course as part of this. Um, this is how we end the course. And you know, I've said time and time again, day trading is 20% 20, 20 the strategy that you learn, but 80% mental. Because it's all about execution. If you can't execute, it doesn't matter what you know. It doesn't matter how many classes you took or how much education you have. It's just not going to happen for you. So, you know, if you invest in yourself, invest in this class, you're invested in me, and I'm invested in you. And that, that's the way it works. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'll be glad to chat with you about it. Or you can go to AverageJoeTrader.com on the services, and you can um, check out what I offer there. Now, I didn't get to do the How to Really Grow a Small Day Trading Account presentation this Wednesday. You know, school started back for my son, and he's involved in a lot of stuff so gonna have some parent meetings to go to here and there and this Wednesday I have one and you know didn't get to really do this presentation so I'm gonna record it either the day or in the morning and get it posted and what I'm gonna do is talk about using a simulator to help you develop your skill and this is what I did you know how I was able to bridge that gap you know as fast as I did you know it still wasn't a get rich quick thing it was a process it took time I had to invest the time in it but the time I invested I put 120 percent in it you know I made sure that I could commit to that every day 
if it was an hour and a half, then I made sure that for the hour and a half, I did nothing but this. I focused 100% on it. And, you know, that's what we have to do. So look for that, that video to come out either a little bit later this evening or in the morning. All right, so let's take a look at my week here. Um, this week really should have been a good week for me. Based on how it started, I was I was expecting, you know, twelve to fifteen hundred dollar week. Uh, that's what I was expecting. But after Tuesday, the wheels fell off, and I I don't know why. I don't know what happened to me. Um, or why I was so erratic. But it's it's funny. Um, I had this trader that I that I've worked with before, and you know we chat. And he asked me if I eaten Chinese food that week. You know, and I thought he was joking. You know. But believe it or not, I ate Chinese food three days, practically three days in a row. We got it Tuesday night. Um, I ate leftovers and we got it Thursday night and I ate and I, I like ate it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, you know, different dishes, but different from different places, but still Chinese food, still takeout. Like I said, school started back for my wife, for my son, you know, my daughter's off in college, so, you know, I don't have to go to all of this stuff with her but you know we don't get to eat we don't get to cook and you know Chinese is a big is something easy that we can grab but what he was telling me was the MSGs can affect your mind and it can affect your decision making and so I, I googled it and sure enough there's a lot of studies on that now I've looked up studies on the sleep part I've looked up studies on the blood sugar part because you know when I was diagnosed with diabetes and I was put on that new medicine you know I I had two six hundred dollar losing days in a row back to back when I started taking that medicine and I had to stop trading for a week so that my body could get acclimated to it and I could eat the right food so that I could be straight. Now, it doesn't affect everybody. I, we're all different. Our body makeups are different. You know, we're allergic to different things, different foods. You know, but it may be something to this um, Chinese food and MSGs that, you know, cause me to have an out-of-body experience Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's Anything is worth looking at because in this industry, we use our minds. And our minds need to be sharp. And if it's not, we're going to lose money. And that's why so many people lose in this. Only a very few select people make money. And some people, things don't affect them. They can eat what they want. They can do what they want. They can sleep three hours and get up and trade like a, a, a madman and make money hand over fist. And some of us, like me, I've got dyslexia. If I don't get enough sleep, I start mixing numbers up. I start, you know, I get in a bad way. So maybe there are foods that, you know, can affect me and cause me to you know, do certain things. So we have to get to know each other ourselves and know what affects us, what bothers us, what gets in our head. And that's all part of getting to know ourselves. And it looks like, you know, we have to continue to get to know ourselves constantly through this. But I thought that was interesting and I wanted to, to throw that out. It's something I'm going to be, you know, looking deeper into. Uh, so for the month, I, you know, I had a pretty good month. Now, granted, we had an extra week in this month. We had five weeks in this month. I had an extra day at the beginning of the month. 
and I had an extra day at the end of the month. You know, plus we had 31 days in a month. So this was a good five week month. And, you know, almost five grand is not bad. Considering I started with $3,000. And this is above. This doesn't count the $3,000 that I started with. This is the profit that I made on that money. And I'm back at $3,000. This is the last month that I'll do three. Um, the plan was fourth quarter to start trading with five grand and you know bump my position sizes up a little bit. The market should be ready to take it. And you know, we'll see where we go from there. You know, the fourth quarter is usually a strong quarter for me. So I'm gonna be looking for for that. But you can see, I didn't really take a look at this, these um, stats here, but only 60% accuracy last month. Um, only one to one on average win to loss ratio. That's terrible. And then I, my largest losing trade was more than my largest winning trade. You never want to see that. You never want to see one to one. The only way and the only reason I made money is because 60% of my trades were winners. It's the only way. If I'd have had 50%, I might have broke even. So, you know, that, that worked out. Even, even the 60% worked out. And that's, you know, why we always say if you... If you're right 60 to 70% of the time and you, you manage your losses, you're going to do good. You're going to make some money. But the key is managing your losses. And I didn't do a good job this week. I mean, you see 218, 337 loss, 186. Now, this is right. This is right. This is right. This is just a little bit of slippage that happens sometimes because I have stock market. And sometimes the stock pops and I get, you know, 10 cents or so slip slippage. Uh, it's no big deal. But you can see how bad this is. And then when this updates later on um, next week, you're going to see another dip on this. There's going to be more, you know, more dips like you see here and here. This was a slight one. You know, so we're going to see that again. And for the month, overall 67% profitability. That's pretty good. Still just above 1 to 1 on my average win to loss ratio. And still for the month, my largest losing trade is bigger than my largest winning trade. So stats don't look all that great. Profit-wise, it was an okay month. And you, you have to put things in perspective. You know, we're starting every month with $3,000. Why do we wire out? Because we need to protect our capital and we need to save it so that at the end of the year we can pay our taxes, that we can continue to save it and grow so that we can get a full-fledged trading account. You know, that's this is exactly how I did it. This is how I worked my way out of sure trader to speed trader. But you know, call me crazy, but I like trading small. I like trading speed trader. I like the challenge. You know, this is what excites me. It's what gets me up. And you know, I love doing this, and I love helping you guys. You know, learn how to trade with smaller size, learn how to grow your account. You know, because we all deserve to have the life that we envision for ourselves and our family. You know, we all deserve it. And if we don't believe that, nobody else is. So you got to believe that you deserve this life. And, you know, we have to go after it. We have to do what we need to do to go after it and make it happen. 
All right, so just for point of reference, this is the these are the five weeks. I just spread them out. I started on fire. 1800 first week, 1500 the sixth week, I mean the second week, and then the wheels fell off. You know, 431, 61% accuracy, 33% on long trades. This next week, 55% accuracy. This next week, this past week, 60%. Another 33% on long trades. I mean, just abysmal. Just I ended this week, as, this month, as bad as anybody could have ended the week. This, I mean, ended the month. Um, the only thing, you know, I've come close. I've come real close a couple times to having red weeks. Now I do have red days, but I have I haven't had a red week in a very 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 long time. And it's all because I manage my losses. Even when I let one or two get away, I try to manage my loss. And you know that usually ends well for me at the end of the week. It usually helps me protect my account and keep me from um, going negative. So that is it. That's where I, I ended up for the month. Um, didn't end the month like I wanted to, but I'm really looking forward to September. I'm looking forward to Tuesday and going into the fourth quarter and you know we're gonna bring it home I'm looking for us to finish strong and and just really run it out the back of the end zone now anybody that wants to to join us you know come in give us a try um, I'm going to spend a little bit more time I think I've got a, a different schedule that I can use but I'm trying to demonstrate every day when the market's not there for our strategy we got to stop trading or if you're out of control stop and come back and so sometimes I have to stop trading and that's what a trader does when they realize they're out of control they got to stop if they can't stop themselves those are the traders that don't last long you got to figure out a way to stop yourself. You know, if you have to put in a, a um, hard cutoff with your broker, call them and tell them, hey, shut my platform off once I lose so much money on the day. You know, if that's what you need to do, then that's what you do. I mean, if I need to go back to that again, if I consistently trade after I've hit my max loss, then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna call them back and say, hey, put this thing back on. Don't let me back in my account. You know, if I've hit my max loss for the day. You know, we have to do that. All right, guys, I'm gonna go this time. I'm gonna stop running my mouth and gonna head on out of here. So you guys take it easy, have a good one, and I will see you on Tuesday.